We love math, a. We love math, a. We love math, a. Every time we divide, we already know the path, a. Then we multiply. All we gotta do is roll the die, a. This is how to use the Casio graphing calculator. Uh, and press on, and then you go to menu. You're gonna have a bunch of menus. You can either use scroll, or I like. Thanks. So. Okay. So here, whatever's there, you can just press uh, delete, and it says yes or no, so yes is F1. The variable button is here, see it? So if I want X squared, the shortcut is just XX, okay? So let's put in like something, plus four X uh, plus four, okay? Um, these are your options keys, and it's not really showing anything, so I'm just gonna press enter or execute. So when I go to the next slide, this right there says table, you see it? So now it gives me a table of values. Now pay attention, the table of values doesn't match unless you know um, the axis of symmetry. So you go back, you'll go to set. Okay, so here you're gonna pick your um, your five numbers from your axis of symmetry. Say you want negative two. Press execute. Um, negative zero, one, two. And then you just want to increase by ones. Okay? Okay, now I can go table and now adjust it. You see it? Is that nice? Okay, so if you ever want to graph, go ahead. Exit, press menu. Number five draw and now you have a graph. Uh, you can press this button, trace, and you press left or right and it's telling you values. You see how it moves? Go G solve. No. Oh yeah, it'll solve say this has a minimum because it's a low point. It'll figure that out for you just pressing that. So when you're calculating your value like what's the order pair, you can do it by hand or the calculator. Doing your math homework and Miss Ching putting your grade down. So, yeah, do your math homework.